In this video, we're going to talk about how to multiply fractions by whole numbers. So what's 5 eighths times 32? The first thing you want to do is convert 32 into a fraction. So you can put it over 1 and then multiply across. Now 5 times 32 is a big number, so before we multiply across, we want to convert 32 into smaller numbers. 32 is 8 times 4. It's also 2 times 16, but I chose 8 times 4 because the 8s can cancel. So now we can multiply across. We have 5 times 4, which is 20. 20 over 1 is the same as 20. So the final answer will be 20. Now for the second example, let's do the same thing. Let's put 35 over 1 and multiply across. Now 35, we can write that as 7 times 5. And note that we could cancel the 7. So we're left with 4 times 5, which is 20. Let's try these two examples. Let's multiply 4 over 5 by 3 and 5 over 9 by 8. So this is 4 over 5 times 3 over 1. The 5 and 3's we can't cancel, so we just got to multiply across. 4 times 3 is 12. 5 times 1 is 5. So the answer as an improper fraction is 12 over 5. To convert it to a mixed number, we can break down 12 over 5 into 10 over 5 plus 2 over 5. 10 plus 2 is 12, and 10 is the highest multiple of 5, just under 12. 10 divided by 5 is 2, so we have 2 plus 2 over 5, which as a mixed number is 2 and 2 fifths. For the next example, 5 over 9 times 8, let's put 8 as a fraction, 8 over 1, and let's multiply across. 5 times 8 is 40, and 9 times 1 is 9. So the answer as an improper fraction is 40 over 9. So to convert it to a mixed number, how many times does 9 go into 40? 9 goes into 40 4 times. 9 times 4 is 36, 40 minus 36 is 4. So as a mixed number, it's 4 and 4 ninths. You can also do it this way. 40 over 9 is 36 over 9 plus 4 over 9. 36 is the highest multiple of 9, just under 40. 36 divided by 9 is 4, so we get 4 plus 4 over 9, which is 4 and 4 ninths. So those are two ways in which you can convert an improper fraction to a mixed number. 